What's up guys? Wanna do another walk around video of a different Jeep we just finished up here over at Core Off Road. Um, so this is one customer that when he brought us this Jeep originally, he had purchased it from someone else. He added a rock crawler long arm, VKS armor, bumpers, all that stuff, the the trail grapplers, the bead locks and all that. So pretty much since we've had it, we've done a few things. Um, kind of start from the inside. And I'll walk around everything this Jeep has just because it's a pretty cool Jeep. It's one of my favorites. We added a rock hard roll cage. The C pillars, center in the back, front all the way down. And we had it powder coated to match the the hydro blue that's on this Jeep. He has bar tack seat covers. So if you have JK, this is always the go-to for seat covers just because they fit. And that's a huge thing too, is if you get seat covers, almost always it rips right here because our fat ass is rubbed against it right here in this constant spot. And that's what usually makes it tear. So these bar tack ones use double stitching right here. It's a thicker piece right there. It's reinforced. It's got all the Molly packages, uh, spots front and rear on them. So it's just kind of a, uh, a nice thing for everyone but two it actually makes it feel nicer than the factory seat really is so that's always a plus because you know the rears don't have a cover on it so you can kind of see the difference between the two and these guys are going to be a lot more water resistant which means they're easier to clean than these guys are so just stuff to keep in mind on that one but he's got like i said the vks body armor the rocker armor 37 inch trail grapplers uh, ATS, bead locks, a JCR rear bumper, rear axle has Artec truss and he did the three link for the long arm for rock crawler, Artec um, track bar bracket, Fox shocks, Fox um, hydro bumps front and rear, uh, Synergy rear lower control arm mount skids plus shock mounts which raise them up about an inch and a half. Um, gives you that much more ground clearance, but also that much more down travel if you're trying to find the right shock for your setup. Super dope half doors put onto it. Um, KC windshield light brackets with rigid side shooters put on there. His sway away sway bar. Same concept for the front. Fox. Rock crawler long arm. One thing we just added uh, this past week is reed um, high steer knuckles rpm two inch solid aluminum uh, tie rod and drag link so it's their full steering system a hydro assist clamp um, one benefit to this one is that you can see it is double shear that's made by rpm we're one of their biggest vendors so if you guys are interested in that let me know we can always ship it to you had to rework his um, hydro assist clamp so we double sheared it as well um, and then boxed it in together so everything fits nicely and welded nicely to his uh, Artec um, track bar bracket. And then the cool thing that we did is added a rip supercharger. I'm not going to sit here and struggle to open up these hood latches, but it basically puts a supercharger in the front right here. Um, one thing that's kind of special about it is because he has the hydro assist, he actually has, uh, you can kind of see it, the big bore box. And the problem with that is it's larger and um, all this tubing is just miserable to fit when it comes to the bigger bore box, the PSE pump, because it's in a different location. It comes right where the supercharger is. So we had countless amount of hours in that, just trying to get that guy to fit correctly and all that. So we finally got it all dialed in. And once this motorcycle passes, I'll give you an idea of what it sounds like. It is a huge performance upgrade. Um, you really, really actually notice it when it's around 5,000 RPMs or higher. You notice it pretty much all the time. It's got 488 gears, so it kind of feels like it has 538s, you know, regularly. And then once you really get on it, that's when you kind of notice that big difference. idea so it has their pretty much their blow-off valve system built into it but one thing they do offer is a bypass 
or relocation rather and that's going to be the next thing that we're putting on his jeep just because when you're driving your supercharger matches your rpms at all times so if you're going downhill at 4,000 rpms you're going to hear that blow off because you're uh everything's just pretty much closed and it's got to blow all that extra boost somewhere so it's just coming out so when you're going down a mountain you just hear basically just sounds like a bad bearing inside there but that's just the way it is so we're going to get it relocated out of the way put towards the back so at least you don't hear it constantly from the driver's seat because it's you know it's there but yeah guys so we just finished up this super cool he's kind of running out of stuff to do we we're going to do one tons then he had a a family situation so we decided to do a supercharger and uh steering stuff instead so if you guys have any questions comment them down below i'll do what i can to answer you best if you guys want to order parts or anything we do offer the best pricing we can drop ship if you're out of state that means tax free if you decide you want to do like venmo or anything like that it saves on credit card fees which actually saves you money in the end because we'll discount a little bit more so just keep stuff like that in mind like i said core off-road See you guys next video.